Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Chats with Children. I hope you're all safe and well. Today, I'm delighted to be joined by Charlotte Kilpatrick, who is from Terrapin Events. And she's going to talk to me about the upcoming World Vaccine and Immunotherapy Congress, West Coast, a bit of a mouthful, which is co-located with the World Antiviral Congress. And that is running in lovely, sunny San Diego. Hopefully it's sunny anyway, uh, from November the 28th, which is next Monday, all the way to December the 1st, which is Thursday. So I unfortunately won't be there. Charlotte hopefully will be there. Sadly not. I have to hold no, support. No. Uh, all right. So neither of us will be there, but we're going to be talking about the event, which we're both not attending next week. But let's do that anyway. And let's find out a bit more about why people should be there and what people who are attending can expect to find out. So first of all, Charlotte, it's lovely to see you. First, Last time I saw you first time, the last time I saw you was in Barcelona, wasn't it? Uh, uh, about a month ago, I think, for yeah. World Vaccine Congress Europe. So before we talk about this event, how did that event go? It was fantastic. Um, it was a very busy event, very well attended. Um, I think from the feedback that we've received from everyone, they were really impressed with the caliber of our speakers, which is a credit to the speakers, obviously. Um, and I think what was particularly lovely was that people were really glad to be back in person, um, networking, catching colleagues over a cup of tea. Um, so it was a really fabulous event. Right. And I know you were sort of um, doing some quick chats and interviews with various people throughout the week as well. So um, were there any sort of talks or anything which stood out or any themes which stood out for you from speaking to some of the delegates and speakers? Yeah. So um, I think something that I was really interested to hear from them was sort of what are we or what should we be learning from COVID and what are we trying to learn? Um, because obviously, um, we're very much trying to extract ourselves from the pandemic, but in the vaccine community, they're still thinking about future variants, responding to what's happening at the moment. So it was really interesting to hear from some, I want to say this politely, some veterans of the vaccine community who've yeah. been in the game a long time um, and who for whom this was a really momentous event in which they could sh showcase their skills but also really test themselves and I think it was great to hear how they found that went and what they're hoping to do in the future when the inevitable next next big thing happens so it was really great to speak to them. And did they think then now that I've got you here and you brought that up that uh, they think um, as a community uh, we are now better prepared for future events or do they think that actually once this is over it's all going to go back to what it was before? I think the there is definitely a sense that we need to work harder and we need to take on board the very difficult lessons that we've learned. Um, I, I hesitate to speak for them but um, from what I've gathered we are trying to do that. And I think some of the themes at this upcoming Congress will be pandemic preparedness. This last one took us a bit by surprise. What are we going to do when the next one comes along? Well, that is a perfect segue. We didn't plan this at all, Charlotte, so that's well done <laughs> on that. So to talk about the upcoming World Vaccine and Immunotherapy Congress West Coast and World Antiviral Congress. Now, first question we we're talking off camera about this is why, when all the other events are called World Vaccine Congress, this one on the West Coast is called World Vaccine and Immunotherapy Congress. So why is this different to the ones you've got in Washington and you had in Barcelona this year? Yeah, so obviously, like you've noted, it's part of the series, but this one is a little different in that it's got a, I suppose, a broader focus, um, including um, cancer immunotherapies and antiviral therapeutics. So I was just thinking earlier, as if there wasn't already something for everyone with vaccines, now there is even more for everyone. Um, we're covering a, a far broader range of topics, so hopefully that appeals to some people. Right, okay. and. If people haven't registered yet, what are some of the sort of topics which will be covered at this event, which may not be covered at the others or have been covered, but are important topics that people should sort of attend for? Yeah, so I think um, the one thing that immediately comes to mind, um, I had an interview with Dr. Carl Diefenbach of um, NIH, and he will be discussing the HIV AIDS pandemic. Um, so that's obviously something that is important in the vaccine scene, but also with antivirals and therapeutics. So there will perhaps be similar topics, but with a different perspective. Um, and 
obviously um I, I also spoke to um Stefan sorry Dr Stefan Johnston um about cancer and possible cancer vaccines and cancer diagnostics so again things we are familiar with at our events but perhaps with a different spin so um really exciting right and in terms of world antiviral congress what can people expect to see if they attend that um yeah so it will be very much focused on and antivirals obviously um with um some fantastic uh showcases um and uh um sessions from speakers who we in the vaccine world may not have encountered previously so um i'm thinking uh i've just done an interview with um dr ariel weinberger of autonomous therapeutics um and we brought in we were sort of I suppose straddling the two events with a bit of um, antiviral, bit of therapeutics, bit of vaccine. So, um, yeah, again, to repeat myself, there is something for everybody. Right, and and if you are attending in person, apart from the talks, what else can you expect to see if you turn up in yeah. San Diego? Yes, well, hopefully the weather will be gorgeous, so you can enjoy that. There will be, um, as always, an amazing exhibition floor. So. Um, we are we are really excited about the work that goes in behind the scenes to secure um, a number of different companies. I had a look at the sort of the floor plan earlier and it looks like there are some really exciting big names, but also some, um, I suppose, what we're really excited about is the up and coming names so that everybody gets a chance to create new business, meet new people. Um, there will be networking opportunities, which are always valued by our attendees. And then there'll obviously be things like networking drinks. So a chance to sort of unwind at the end of the day, have a bit of fun with your colleagues slash friends. Um, so there will be certainly education, but hopefully some entertainment as well. Sure. And it's on the Coronado, which is the island just across the bay from the huge conference center. And I've stayed not at that hotel, but at Coronado. It's a lovely island, actually, and it's a great view. So I'm very jealous of people being there. <laughs> yes, next so week it, it, it will be lovely. Well, look, that's lovely, Charlotte. Now, the other thing I would add, actually, viewers, is that if you haven't registered yet, you still can. And because it is a bit last minute, if you do register, not only is it already discounted, but you also will get a further 20% off if you use a discount code that you see above this video. So if you use that, you'll get 20% off either of the Congresses. They are co-located. So if you sign up for one, you can attend the other one and so on. So take the opportunity. If you haven't attended, uh, registered yet and you'd like to attend, there is still the opportunity. Uh, well, Charlotte, it's lovely to see you. Um, it's, it's a shame not you're not going, but as I said, I don't feel that bad because I'm not going myself either. To <laughs> so, uh, but I will hopefully catch up with you in the new year, some of the events which are coming up. Uh, but there you go, viewers. If you would like to know more about both the World of Vaccine and Immunotherapy Congress West Coast, and the World Antiviral Congress, then check the links which are above the video. Um, also, you can see when you go in there about the future events that Terrapin have got around uh, the World Vaccine Congress brand as well, because they have got events both in Europe and in the States next year in Washington, which is the main event. So check those out as well. So Charlotte, thanks again. It's lovely to see you. I hope you have a great end to the year. And viewers, thank you for watching. And until next time, as always, stay well, stay safe. Bye-bye.